All right, guys, so we should be live, and you should be hearing me. Is everyone hearing me? I believe our sound is working. I got a new microphone today, or a couple days ago, so we've been testing it to make sure that the sound quality is, in fact, better. And I'm hoping it's better, hoping everything's good, and uh, we'll be get going here in just a minute. Let me make sure that uh, this other part is working. Let's see. Okay, everyone can hear me okay? All right, awesome. Who is ready to learn to build an affiliate site? You guys all ready to learn to build an affiliate site? If you are, let me know. We'll be going here in just a minute or two. And I uh, got a lot of good stuff for you. Hopefully we can get this... Uh, let me make sure my audio is working on the other thing. I am going to play the intro video. I want you guys to tell me how you think the intro video looks. And I also want you to tell me if you hear sound. Okay, so if if you guys are following along, just type in intro video. And um, we're going to go from there. Okay, and how's our quality? Is quality okay? And if the quality is not that good, there's a little... Uh, little ticker thing on the bottom of YouTube and you can actually change it. Uh, we render these in full high definition. Um, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. And what we're going to be doing today is er, teaching you how to set up a site. Now, um, this is going to be very difficult to film uh, live. So bear with me. If you guys are cool with that, um, we are going to be going here in just a little bit. So want to make sure you're Everything's ready to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play the intro video, and then we'll get started. Let me know if you hear sound on the intro video. Alright, so hope everyone is doing good today. Um, I am going to turn the, uh, I think I could turn off the auto portion of this thing so we can get it clear. Let me make sure uh, we can do that. I'm not sure. There we go. Properties and configure. Um, let's see. Autofocus off. There we go. Okay, cool. That should fix it. Um, should be good to go. So how is everyone doing today? Are you guys ready to learn how to set up your first hub site or your second or 50th or whatever it is? Um, and also, how did you guys he uh, feel about the intro video? I worked hard on that. It was up till about 1.30 in the morning making that for you guys. Um, kind of our motto here is to teach you what, uh, what you need to know to make this stuff happen. So if you like that, you can give me a rating of 1 to 10. 10 being, dude, that thing was awesome, and 1 being, Marcus, maybe you should get things done before 1 a.m. because it's a little crazy. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hopping back and forth from the various um, screens. So we're going to go to this one, make sure that's going good, and we're going to go from this one as well, okay? If the voice sync is out, um, I'm not sure exactly how to help that, but I know there is a way. I don't remember. I think it was, I think it should be fixed. Is everyone else getting the voice okay? All right, cool. And I will put the uh, little boxes up here as well so I don't have to keep going back and forth. All right, cool deal. So what we're going to do today is we are going to focus on what is called a hub site. So I'm going to try to do this without tripping over everything. And what a hub site is, is a site that I tell people to start with when they're doing affiliate marketing to start. Okay, now how many of you guys have actually started 
an affiliate marketing site before. And as our video should be working here. If you have typed in an affiliate or have started an affiliate site before, just type in affiliate site and we'll be getting going here in just a minute. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. Okay. The intro video was the one with the little cars and the things like that. So it should be working okay. All right, so today what we are going to do is start our first affiliate site, okay? Awesome stuff. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our first affiliate site. This is a very, very important part of the affiliate marketing puzzle. Now, if you've already started an affiliate site, this is going to refresh some things. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about plugins. We're going to talk about WordPress. We're going to talk about hosting. So first, what I'd like to do is talk to you guys about the basics of how this works. So let's take a look, right? Here we have something called a domain name. Okay, is there anyone that does not know what a domain name is? Okay. Okay, please don't type any uh, URLs in the box. It just confuses people. Okay. Does anyone not know what a domain name is? A domain name is like www.affiliatemarketingdude.com. Okay, really cool stuff. So now what we have here is we have a domain name. Okay. Then we have what is called web hosting. Okay. Now. A lot of people like to use various different web hosting companies. What I'm going to do in this live training is I'm going to urge you to sign up for the hosting that I recommend. Now I can recommend lots of different hosts. They all pay me pretty decent affiliate commissions since I'm an affiliate of them. But there's one that I recommend for several reasons. The first reason I recommend this host is one, they're going to give you like 200 bucks in free ads. Okay, and these free ads are like on Google, Yahoo, MSN, everything like that. Okay, the second reason is because I recorded all the videos with this hosting company. Okay, so if you want to follow along exactly, trust me, get this host. Okay, it's going to cost you about $107 for the entire year of web hosting. Okay, they give you the domain name free and everything like that. All right, what is web hosting web hosting is a big folder okay so i'm going to try to draw a folder here okay folder all right web hosting is a folder that holds your web site okay web hosting is a folder that holds your website now what happens is the domain name when you get the domain name you're going to get one free today with your hosting and everything, when you get signed up for the hosting, again, it's going to be about 107 for the year. Uh, if you're cool with that, you're definitely going to want to do it. It's going to follow along with all the videos, right? What's going to happen is the domain name is now going to point to this folder. Okay, really cool. So the domain name means when I type in whatever.com or .org or .net or .me or .biz or however many millions of those they have now, it's a little overwhelming. I like to stick with the main three, .net, .org, and uh, .com. Sometimes I'll use .me. So we have these um, domain names here, and the domain name leads to your website, right, which is your hosting company. Okay, and it does it using things called name servers. Okay, and if you don't follow along with this, don't worry about it. Okay, is everyone still with me? Type with me if you're in, uh, if you're with me. Type it in the box there so that we know. Okay, and we're going to show you how to do all this uh, once we get back to the screen and everything like that. Okay, so we have our domain name. Our domain name leads to our hosting company via the name servers, right? Then it pulls up our folder, which has our website. Pretty cool, right? Now, if I was to have a bunch of files, then they would show up for my domain name. If you type in the domain, it'd be a bunch of files, right? Pretty cool. Whatever you name index.htm, index, 
index.html or uh, index.php, right? That's what shows up for your site, okay? That's the basics of how websites work. It's just a folder, just like a folder on your computer that holds a bunch of files. Because you have the domain name with the name servers pointing to it, it's gonna show your website. Pretty cool, right? Now, there's another step that's kind of makes this easier if this sounded kind of confusing, and that is the step called WordPress, okay? How many of you guys have heard of blogging? Okay, blogging. Blogging is my favorite, easiest way to do all this, okay? So, we got our domain name, points to our folder. We could either put files on it and have the files show up if we're fancy technical goofy people, right? This is what I used to have to do uh, back in the day, which is cool. You know, we do that still today. Um, the site that you're on right now, if you're watching this on the affiliate marketing dude website, the gray site, right? If you're on that gray site, type gray. If you're on that, you are actually seeing an index.htm page, right? What I did is I made an index.htm. I put my uh, logo at the top. I used a little embed code for the chat box and for YouTube. Took me about 20 minutes to figure that out. And boom, you guys can watch me live, right? Pretty cool, right? That's how it works. Because there's a folder, right? You are actually on the folder, which is affiliatemarketingdude.com slash live, right? And you could always go there every week. Uh, usually on Wednesdays at four, we have a live webinar. Um, sometimes on Fridays, we have them if I'm in a good mood. So, Cool stuff, right? So that's how it works. Now, Manish is watching us from India. Hello, India. Um, cool stuff. We usually have people all over the world watching. So we got WordPress, we got blogging. Now, what happens is if you don't wanna do all this stuff, all you do is click a button and install WordPress. Now, what WordPress does is it automatically puts a bunch of files and cool stuff on your server, on your folder, and then you could start a blog. Now, what are the benefits of blogging? Benefits, fits, right? One is easy, okay? If you don't wanna learn HTML and you don't wanna get coding and all that junk and uploading and everything, it's easy, okay? Number two, SEO friendly, okay? Sometimes I'll make a blog post and it'll get ranked in Google in seconds. Pretty cool, okay? Three, lots of tools, okay? Back in the day when I used to do um, affiliate marketing with regular websites, right? I had to figure out all these tools myself. I had to make tools, they were expensive, they were difficult. But now with WordPress, idiots like me spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to make plugins for people like you who are smart and get the plugins for really cheap on my site. Pretty fair trade, right? I spent over $100,000 on these plugins so that I could use them. And now we give them to you as part of our training program. So if you're in any of our training programs, uh, you get those. So cool stuff, right? Um, also themes and uh, it's universal, right? It's universal. Lots of people use it. So the idea here is this. First, we have our domain name, okay? Then we have our web hosting, Okay, again, costs about 107 bucks to sign up for web hosting for the entire year. That's like 30 cents a day, right? So <laughs> we're not talking like breaking the bank here. And on top of it, they give you 200 bucks in free traffic for Google and Yahoo and MSN and everything like that. So that's cool as well. And they give you WordPress for free and they give you a domain name for free. So how many of you guys are like, dude, that's a great deal. Are you kidding me? That's pretty cool. Now I am an affiliate of the company. So if you sign up for hosting, I am compensated, but obviously that's why we're doing these trainings so that you can do that. Um, at the end, we'll also have some other stuff available for you if I'm still have enough energy to, um, to sell stuff, right? I might be out of energy by then, but at any rate. So the benefits of blogging are great, right? Type blogging if you're ready to get started. Say, Marcus, this squiggly stuff, I'm getting it, but it's a little confusing I'd like you to hop into the computer and show me how to do this, right? If you want me to hop in the computer site, show me the money or show me the blog or whatever. And we're actually going to show you how to do this live. Now, um, it's going to be a little difficult for me to do this because we are doing this live. I'm actually going to sign up for this stuff, show you how it works. Uh, it's going to cost me 107 bucks to 
to make this video, right? And other things. So we're going to show you how it works. So let's hop over to the screen. I'm going to move this whiteboard, or I'm sorry, the green screen here a minute and see what's going on. That should give us a little clearer view. All right, so how we doing? Welcome to the screen. Now, let me get something to drink. You know, I think it, you know, you'd love living in California and Florida because you wear shorts in the afternoon, but you gotta like, it's cold in the morning. So now I gotta turn on the air. So hopefully that's not too loud for you, um, but it should, should work pretty good. All right, so here we are. Now, welcome to the training. We're gonna do all the stuff, all that stuff that I showed you on the board, we're gonna do it, okay? So get a look, good look at it. If you were making notes, good. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to follow along, we're gonna start this. Whoever's on this and going through it, applaud yourself, because you're actually gonna get some actionable tips, okay? So, setting up your hub site, congratulations and welcome. Today we are going to set up our hub site. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the domain name. Well, I'm gonna be using this for you to get to gohubsite.com. That's gohubsite.com. When you go to gohubsite.com, you will get the hosting, okay? Now, what we're gonna do to start off, even if you already have hosting, this is good to get because I use this hosting in my videos. So if you wanna follow along exactly with my videos and make life way easier on you, this is good. And Bluehost is a wonderful company. Their support is all over the place. They're great. Um, I've been using them for years. So what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna follow along with these steps. Number one, we're gonna get a domain. Number two, we're gonna get the hosting. Number three, we're gonna create the logins and everything like that. So when you are ready, I want you to type ready, okay? Now, uh, Manish says, can we get it from GoDaddy? You can use GoDaddy, um, but you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Right, like if you if you like my training and you're like, okay, I want to follow along exactly, then follow along exactly. Right, a lot of people like to make this stuff overcomplicated, uh, but don't. Right, make it easy on yourself. Um, I find places that use cPanel hosting a lot easier than ones that don't, uh, which is why we use this one. Okay, so if you're ready, type ready. All right, Dave says he he's got it yesterday, so good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Number one. We're gonna choose a generic domain that we can put links on and keep all our files on, okay? So what we're doing is we're starting off with a generic domain name. Now, this is why I also like to use this because they give you this domain name free, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to go and we're gonna to try to find something available. Let's see, uh, we're gonna to go to hosting, okay? So everyone go ahead and go to um, go ahead and open up gohubsite.com right now, okay? And once you're done, type a G in the box. That's funny, the green screen filter actually takes the green off of my can here. Ooh, which is kind of cool, right? <laughs> At any rate, all right, when you're there, type a G in the box. All right, cool. Everyone go there. I wanna see a bunch of G's in the box. All right, cool. We need more than four G's, guys, come on. Let's get those G's coming. Okay, now what we're gonna do is on uh, gohubsite.com, we are gonna go ahead and choose hosting, and we're gonna choose shared host. Okay, if you already have Bluehost, don't worry about it. You're, you can follow along because these, steps, these uh, steps are gonna go for you as well, okay? All right, there's my G's. Okay, now we're gonna go shared hosting. Now, right now the plus and the prime are the exact same price and you get more stuff with the prime. So what do you think is the best option, right? I mean, would you like to have more stuff for less or would you like to pay the same for less stuff? Right? Of course we'd like to, you know, obviously, okay. I, I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and say, you probably figured that one out on your own. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the prime, okay? And we're gonna hit select. 
right, like this. Now, once you're on this page, type new or sign up or something like that, right? Okay, and this is very important because once you get here, I want you to not overthink the domain name. Remember, this domain name is free. Okay, now you're going to use it. It's going to be a placeholder like we talked about um, on the blackboard, right? It's a placeholder um, like this. Okay, you can even choose it later if you want. That's kind of a cool feature they added. So if you want to do that, that's fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a domain that is generic. So I would do something like Marcus's blog ideas or Marcus's blog tips or Marcus's blog links. Dot com. Okay, try to keep it short and, you know, let me know what you came up with. If you came up with it, I'll tell you if they're good or not. Okay, we'll do Marcus's blog links like this. And if it's available, you'll get to create your account. If it's not available, try again, do Marcus's blog tips, maybe .net, maybe .org, whatever. Now, you're not doing Marcus's. You're going to do like David's or Manish's or... Um, Gandhi's web tips would be kind of cool. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I would go with that. Um, that would be kind of cool. Uh, just kind of good. Sounds friendly, right? So cool stuff. Uh, Dave blog tips. Okay, good. That's exactly what we want. Okay, something like that. All right, and when you found one, type done or something like that when you've gotten to this page. Okay. And again, I'll show you those um, those things on the whiteboard or the blackboard as well. Okay. And when you're done, just type it in the box. And the one I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and use affiliateprofitgroup.com. That wasn't taken, surprisingly, right, which is pretty cool. Okay, good. You're all done. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this out. Okay. It's going to cost you $107 to set this up but you're gonna have hosting for the year. It's kind of like opening your storefront, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? Like if you don't have this, you're not gonna have the folder. No one's gonna see your stuff. You're not gonna be able to make good redirects. It's just gonna be very difficult, okay? Uh, will there be a rebroadcast of this? Yes, there will. Right after um, the training, it automatically goes onto YouTube. Um, so cool stuff. Okay, now once you get here, what you're gonna do is create your account, okay? Put your name, business name, country, everything like that, okay? email address and then once you get down here you can choose whatever plan you want okay if you want to pay like a whole bunch up front uh, but save a bunch of money you could do like five year plan for 300 bucks if you don't want to do that just do the 12 month that's what i always do and then take off all the bonuses right you don't need any of the extras and it'll be 107 bucks as as i mentioned right cool so awesome stuff now what you're going to do when you're done with this you go ahead and fill everything out and once you're done, you agree to the thing and you click the next button. Okay, what this is going to do is it's going to get you started. So if you're like, Marcus, I don't know how to get started in web business. This is how you get started. Okay, then we're going to we're going to go into all the um, other stuff later with, uh, you know, finding your niche and everything like that. But this is always where we start. Like when I first started, I got a domain name for uh, a generic site, right? It wasn't like a specific, you know, how to fixstinkyfeet.com or something like that. I don't even know if that is a niche. It probably is. You know, the internet's pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill this out. And then when you're done filling this out, you will get a sign up complete. And the sign up complete will be like, hey, welcome. So when you're on the welcome, let me know when you're on the welcome. Okay. All righty. And you can see how mine signed up. It's for affiliateprofitgroup.com. And this is something you're going to keep for a long time. Um, the hosting company is very, very important to have. Um, now, again, remember, you can have as many domain names on one hosting account as you want. Right? That's why we had you go with the, the plus or the prime plan. Um, because now I can have as many domains as I want. So if I get a website for... Um, you know, shoes or a website for whatever, you're done. Gandhi is, is on it. He gets the prize for uh, hooking this thing up fast. Um, so awesome. Uh, man, can I call you Gandhi? That's just a cool name. If I had the name Gandhi, I'd be like, yes, that's cool. Um, 
So yeah, cool stuff. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm stuck with Campbell, which isn't even my last name. Long story there, which no one ever believes when I tell them that story uh, of how I got the name Campbell. But at any rate, that's that's how I did. Okay, awesome. When you're done, type in done, and we'll show you how this works. And then, then when you're done, uh, okay, cool, we're going to call you Gandhi. Um, that's good. Uh, when we're done, we're going to go ahead and create a password. It's very simple. Um, you can either use, like, they have a password generator that you can use if you don't like trying to figure out how many capitals and how many lowercases and how many little cursor thingies and, you know, like that stuff that makes you want to throw your computer out the window. All right, so this will help you. Okay. Uh, Campbell's is a good soup. Yeah, I wish I was an heir to the Campbell soup family, but... It's unfortunately not my real name. Um, that was a long time ago, though. I think uh, my dad was the first to take the Campbell name, and there's no blood relation between that. Um, Tom, yeah, go ahead. Keep looking. Okay. All right, cool. So this is the first step of what you do. And I want you guys to, like, really focus on this and really do this. Um, and I want to be transparent of how it works, okay? And obviously... As I mentioned, I'm an affiliate. So I'm doing affiliate marketing right now. So by me teaching you how to do this, we are making affiliate sales and getting affiliate commissions, which is pretty cool. This is how affiliate marketing works. I want you guys to really, really get that, right? Because it's cool and you don't have to do it like, you know, this type of stuff. You can do um, other offers and things like that as well, okay? Okay, awesome. The rebroadcast will be on my affiliatemarketingdude.com slash live page. So if you come back to the gray page uh, after the webinar, it'll show the replay. All right, cool. So once we're done with that, we're going to create a password. Okay, we're going to create a little password. It'll ask us what we want to make it. Now, our username is going to be either our domain name or it's going to be our email. Okay, so we're going to go in, we're going to log in, and we'll go here. Okay, so here we are. We have a brand new web hosting plan. Awesome. Okay, remember how I told you they give you like credits for Google and Yahoo and everything like that? There they are. Right? Pretty cool. It's like, hey, there it is. I just spent $107. I got hosting and now I got 200 bucks in free traffic. Can't beat that. And I got a $15 free domain. So we are way ahead of the game here. So if you're ahead of the game, type ahead of the game. This is cool. Okay, now what we have is we have the folder. Okay, so that, that just gave us the domain name and the folder. So for this one, affiliateprofitgroup.com, you can see, there we are. It's like, welcome, yay, you have your thing. There you go, there's the thing, okay? Type thing if you see the welcome page. Okay, and we'll, we'll show you how this works, okay? It is very simple. Um, the way this stuff works is it's really literally just... A folder so people overcomplicate this like this watch we go here we go to file manager we're gonna go here we'll go to the home directory and you can actually see the, the files right so it's gonna log me in and it's gonna take a minute here's the files right so there they are remember how I said like uh, here's your WW this is where all your website would be okay pretty easy you can see it's got like the 404 500 default Right, so if I go and I say, well, you know, let's upload a page. Okay, so let's say I wanted to upload some page or something. We can hit upload. We could choose a file. And let's say we want to do um, desktop. i got to have some kind of file here. Let's see. There we go. There's an index page. I think it's like a redirect or something. And let's see, so I uploaded an index.htm, so watch, it'll show up right here. And if I go too fast, don't worry, um, you guys can get back and you can get through it. But basically what it did is it put an index.htm, and what that does is it changes what's on the blog. So see, now I just put this page. Right? Does everyone see the on-air page? Type on-air if you see that. Okay, very simple. Okay, and if I go through and I delete that page right here, I could just go um, delete, 
boom, and then the page will be gone. All right, like, and we wait, and we wait, right like that. Okay, everyone see how it works? Okay, all we're doing is what I showed you on the screen. So, so let me let me show you what you guys did if you did this right. Okay, so what we did here, and I'll try not to trip over everything. Okay, so here's what we did. We got a domain name, right? I picked affiliatemarketinggroup.com. Okay, I got the web hosting, okay, which made the folder. Okay, the folder is the w, WW folder. Once I add new sites, they will show up there as well as separate folders. Okay, I put a little index.htm, which showed the on air page. And then I deleted it, which showed the welcome to hosting page. Okay, pretty simple. All right, don't overcomplicate this stuff. Um, we really want to focus on this. Okay, if it's difficult to read, um, just follow along with what I'm saying. We don't need to like read this exactly. Okay, so very, very simple. This is how this stuff works. And this is like, if you, how many of you guys actually did get a domain just now? Right, did you guys get a domain? If you got a domain, type domain. Okay, and if you did, you're totally ahead of the game. Like this is the tech stuff that people call me about. These are the questions that people struggle with. So you're doing good already. Okay, so now we have our file. We can see our folders here. Okay, this folder over here just links to my site. That's it. That's all it is. Very, very simple. Okay, just links to my site. Now, how many of you guys want to see something more impressive than that? Okay. Uh, yeah, if you sign up and then you choose your domain later, that's fine. So now you got your domain. Now check this out. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take the terrifying leap of setting up a WordPress blog. Okay, here's what we do. We go back to our main page. I'm just going to close this out. Still puts me on our on our page here. We're going to um, reload this. Okay, now back to our page, right? This is our main welcome. You don't even have to do the file stuff because this is going to happen anyway. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the wonderful world of your website. What we're going to do now is we are going to click on install WordPress. If you have two domains, you'll see how this works in just a minute. Okay, so we're going to go install WordPress right like this. And we're going to go here, right like this. And we're going to wait. And now we got the little spiky haired green guy. Okay, cool. So now we got the spiky haired green guy and we're going to click. Yes, here we can install WordPress, get started. All right, now, here we go. It says WordPress, excellent, good, good, good. Now we're going to go through, we're going to wait. All right, now. Robert said, what if you had two domains? Well, if you had two domains, they would show up here. Okay, right now we're just doing affiliateprofitgroup.com. Okay, if we had two, there'd be like, you know, affiliateprofitclub.com and affiliate profit group. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we have install directory exists and is not empty. Okay, now this, we always want to leave this blank if we want our blog to show up for our root domain name. Okay, a root domain name is affiliate mark affiliate profit group .com. okay that's my root domain now if i had affiliate profit group .com slash members maybe i wanted a blog for my members then i would put members okay but right now what i want is i just want it to be on the root okay so nothing in here and we'll wait likes to take a while okay so it says our install is ready to begin. Get click next to continue. We're going to click next. Okay. Then what we're going to do, very important. First is our site name or title. All right. Now we are doing a hub site, which means we don't really need to have 
like a fancy site name or title, but usually if you're doing an affiliate site, like to get ranked in the search engines, what you would do is you would name the site whatever your keyword is. So if my keyword was affiliate profit group, I would do just like this. Okay, and it usually will match your domain name because we like to use exact match domain names. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, how many of you guys are following along right now? Okay. Then next, what we're going to do, you just put your admin username. Um, you know, you can put it whatever you want. And then your admin email address. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and click these guys. Okay. Greg, don't worry about it. You'll get the replay. Um, if it goes too fast, don't worry about it. Just catch up. You'll be fine. Um, you're understanding more than you probably think you are. All right, now we're gonna click install and we wait for this and we wait and we wait. Half of my job is waiting. All right, there we go. Ta-da, it is now installing WordPress. Okay, um, Gandhi says, but I read that Google algorithm currently does not focus the SEO factor, putting the keyword in the domain name. That is false. Um, it's not a penalty. It's not going to guarantee you a top ranking, but it certainly doesn't help. Now, the reason mine works so well and the reason we get ranked is because we focus on the keyword first. Okay, so after this webinar, after this training, um, we're going to show you how to focus on the keyword first uh, so that it all makes sense. Okay, and while we're waiting, I'm going to check the other uh, thing here. Bear with me one this second. Training. Uh, ah, we're going to show you how I'm talking. Okay. Now we're going to make sure that you guys learn the stuff that actually gets results. So if you like results, type results in the box and, you know, follow along because we're going to go through some really, really cool stuff. Okay. All right, cool. And we're just, we're waiting. It's like 50% or something like that. Um, now they also have like little bonuses and stuff if you want some cool things. Um, sometimes they're good to get, you know, sometimes you don't need them. It's just up to you what you're looking for. All right, so hopefully this is, this is going. It seems to be taking a little bit longer than usual. There we go. It is actually installing WordPress, so. That looks good. Okay, you guys see here, that's like how it's installing. I don't know, does it do all this automatically? I've never really checked. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, it looks like it's going. Yep, it's waiting, it's waiting. I'm probably messing things up because I don't want to be patient, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Okay, it looks like it's complete now. All right, there we go. See, I'm impatient. How many of you guys are like me and you're just a little impatient on this stuff? Okay, now, once it's done, it says, here's your WordPress stuff. You could click here to see your username and password. All right, and then you could go here. The login is always whatever your domain is, .com slash wp-login.php. Okay. Uh, Tom, go ahead and sign up and get a domain later, or let's, Tom, you want us to find you a domain? He's having trouble. We'll find him one. All right, Tom, we'll see if we can find you a domain name. Let's help, help a buddy out. If anyone else needs a domain name, we'll help you find one too. Um, let's see. Uh, shared. Okay. Good, good, good. Select. Okay. All right, Lonnie, might want to invest in a new computer. They're so cheap now, it's pretty easy. Okay, tomsweblinks.com. Let's see if that's available. There you go, Tom. Go get tomsweblinks.com. Pretty cool. Or you could get, like, affiliate Tom. That's kind of cool. What about, like, affiliate Tom? see if affiliate affiliate Tom not affiliate Tom's taken but you could do like affiliate uh, let's see here Thomas 
I think it's how you spell Thomas. Something like that. That'll work, right? So you can get those. Very cool. All right. Um, yeah, so whichever one I just got last time was uh, affiliatethomas.com. There you go. That's cool. Or affiliate dude or something. I think I was looking it up before this webinar, and there's like affiliatemarketinggirl.com or something if anyone wants that. All right, this is a good one. It's pretty cool. But this is your free one, so, you know, you can always get a better one later. Just get one that's kind of something you'll remember. Okay? So now, we are here. We are at our WordPress login. If you're at the WordPress li login, type WP login or WP or login or something. Just let me know you're there. Okay. All right, cool. So here we are at the login. Affiliatecruisers.com, that's a cool one. Uh, it doesn't have to be .com. It could be .net, it could be .org, it could be .info, whatever you want. Okay, so we're going to do our login here. And we're going to click login, All right, like this. And we're going to wait. Likes to be slow on webinar days, but that's cool. It's all good. We're relaxing and chilling out, hanging out, right? Okay. Now, we are logged in. Welcome to WordPress. Excellent. If you've gotten this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Excellent. Welcome to WordPress. All right. I am, in fact, going crazy, but that's all right. I've been crazy before. Not that bad. All right. So, there we have Welcome to WordPress. Um, we're just going to hit I don't need help because you got Marcus. I mean, you, you don't need that help. You got... You got your old buddy helping you out here. All right. So now, just so you guys know what's going on, if we were to go to affiliate, uh, what was it? Affiliate, uh, what did we buy? Affiliateprofitgroup.com. Okay, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the welcome WordPress thingamajigger. Okay, my internet is just being totally slow right now. Did we lose internet? Or you guys still got me? There we go. Okay, so this is what our site looks like right now. Okay. Got my lovely tree right here. I'll try to grab the tree. Hold the tree. There's the tree. All right, cool. Uh, we could scroll down. We could see the search. Boop. Right there. That's weird how that kind of like doesn't go behind it. That's odd. Maybe I got to hold the search box or something like that. All right, so does that make sense? Oh, that's because it's... <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's because that's where the camera ends. <laughs> okay. Yes. Got to cut back on the coffee. All right, but at any rate, this is what it looks like. This is our welcome to WordPress. Good. All right, so there we go. We have this, and we have our login. So this is the WordPress dashboard. How many of you guys are familiar with the WordPress dashboard? You're like, yes, dude, I've seen WordPress. I love WordPress. Or you're like, hey... What's WordPress? Right? If you've never used WordPress before, type WordPress or type never, something like that, or new, something to let me know. Okay? All right, cool. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get you used to the old WordPress, and I'm going to put the comments up on this screen here so that I can, in fact, see what's going on. So bear with me one second. I'm just going to put the comments up so that I can see what is going on. Okay, cool. Um, that way I can see what you guys are doing. Okay, so a lot of people are new. That's great. That's what we want to do. To get to the dashboard, here's what you do. Okay, um, if your site is affiliateprofitgroup.com, so whatever your site is, you type in. Okay, then you type in slash WP dash admin or hyphen. My wife always corrects me. She's like, that is a hyphen. That is not a dash. That's a hyphen. Get it right next time. All right. So we're going to do WP admin. Okay. All right. Gandhi's doing this stuff at 3 a.m. So 
awesome, Gandhi. That is cool stuff. Um, when I stay up till 3 a.m., I don't feel good the next day. But sometimes, you know, you need to do that. All right, so this is how you get to your login. You go to whatever your domain is, .net, .com, .org, whatever it is, slash WP hyphen admin. Okay? So that's what you do. Boom. That's going to take you right to your login. If you're not logged in, it'll prompt you for your logins. But once you're logged in, you're going to get here. This is the WordPress dashboard. All right, so what we're doing here, I want to give you guys a little rundown. Number one, what we did is we got a generic domain that put links on and kept all our files on. Okay, we did that at gohubsite.com. Okay, very cool. Two, we got hosting at gohubsite.com with our domain name. We got the plus or prime plan so that we got our shared hosting. It's like 107 bucks. Three, we uh, created our hosting logins. Four, we logged into our hosting control panel. Our hosting control panel was, where'd it go? We had our hosting control panel. Let's see, there we are. Our hosting control panel was back here somewhere. There we go, it's all this guy here. So this was our hosting control panel. Okay, you can see, it's like control panel, right? Panel-y and control -y. Okay, then what we did is we logged into our control panel. We installed WordPress, that's our new blog. So now we have the software to make this stuff work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to use the WordPress dashboard and how to structure our site. Now these, these instructions are the same on every site you do, okay? Whether you're doing a fancy pants pay-per-click site, whether you're doing a site for free traffic, a site for YouTube traffic, a redirect site, a hub site, whatever it is, this is what you're going to do okay so follow along you ready when you're ready type ready and we're going to go all right cool so what we're going to do is we are going back to our wordpress dashboard now if you're like me and you're crazy you have a lot of tabs open that's cool you'll get used to it um if you're not and you want to do one tab, that's fine too. Okay, so this is our WordPress dashboard. To get ready to use the WordPress dashboard, we want to be familiar with the different things, okay? First of all, you got Bluehost. I have no idea what this does, but I think it's some bonuses that they give you, some cool stuff. Um, they are like the greatest hosting company. I like them, right? That's why you want to go to gohubsite.com, sign up through my link, get all the bonus stuff. We give you some cool training, everything like that. So cool stuff, okay? So um wordpress dashboard we got that we got jetpack it's like a little plug-in thingy don't really use that all that much we have home if you ever want to get back to this screen you hit home simple we have updates that's like if you don't have auto updates on cool posts okay a post if i want to add a post media if i want to add a video or an image or a pdf or something that's where i would do that pages where i want to add a page okay so if you're taking notes, write down pages, write down posts. Okay, those are very important places we're gonna go. Contact form, don't really care about that right now. Comments, that's where you check like people who have commented, delete comments if they're like, Marcus, you suck. You know, we wanna delete those ones. We only wanna have good comments, right? I know I'm gonna get flamed and get some bad comments about that, but that's cool. We like it anyway. All right, appearance, this is where you change the appearance of your site, the themes, the widgets, the menus, the headers, the themes, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, plugins, this is where you add your plugins. Users, if you wanna have more than one user, not usually that necessary unless you like hire someone. Um, tools, there's some tools. Settings, that's your general settings. And then opt-in monster is something they give you as well. Okay, if you get sort of the dashboard, type I get it, okay? Or move on or something like that. Okay, and then we'll move on and we'll tell you some other stuff. But I wanna make sure that you guys kinda of get the thing. You don't have to know what everything does yet. Um, you just need to kinda of follow along, right? If you're totally lost and you're like, dude, Marcus, what language are you speaking, buddy? Type that in the box too, so that we know to go a little slower. All right, cool, so that's the basic idea. Okay, right now, we got this blog, Affiliate Profit Group. Okay, we got this header at the top because we're logged in. 
If we weren't logged in, it wouldn't be there. Okay, cool stuff. So what we want to do here is we want to take a look at the WordPress dashboard and we want to take a look at our site. So we toggle back and forth from these tabs. Okay, why do we do that? Because it makes it easy. So number one, what we're going to do is we are going to go to settings. Very important. We go to settings, we go to general. We check out, make sure everything's okay, okay? So first of all, we got our site title. Then we got our slogan or tagline. Our tagline is our secondary keywords for our site. So if my main keyword is how to build a blog, my tagline would be WordPress blog setup tips and instructions. Okay, very simple. So this one will do affiliate profit group, how to make money with affiliate marketing. Simple, boom. Scroll down, make sure all your timing and everything's good. Okay, leave all that stuff the same. Save. All right, now you'll see the changes that you do in real time as you make them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, so we do that. We got affiliate profit group, how to make money. Good. Now we're going to move on. We're going to go to writing. Okay. Make sure everything's okay in writing. Okay. Do, 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 do. Looks good to me. Pretty good. Next, reading. Under reading, okay, this is very, very, very important. Okay, we want the front page to display a static page. This is where the posts and pages come into play. Okay, we're going to do a static page. And we're just going to choose the only page that's there, the sample page. Very simple. Save. Okay, so the front page is going to be a static page, and we're going to choose sample because it's the only one. Now, we can change the name of the sample page. We're going to do that next, but we want to make sure that this is done first. Okay, then discussion, if you want to allow comments and things like that. Okay, uh, Lucinda, don't worry. If you got to watch this over, it's going to go on YouTube automatically, and everyone can watch it as many times as you want um, until you just totally get sick of me. That's fine, but... Apparently, people watch me for like thousands of minutes, which I find absolutely insane, but that's cool. You know, you learn stuff. Hopefully, I'm providing some good value for you. Okay, on this one, um, this is just a change like your articles, your comments, um, everything like that. Uh, like if you want to make little monsters when people comment instead of, uh, you know, this mystery person or blank, you can choose a little monster. I like the monsters, right? Pretty cool. There we go. We got monsters. Okay. Next, we have media. All right, well, we'll wait for a minute. So next we have media. On media, you don't usually need to change anything. Settings is the only tab that you're going all the way down. Okay, media, good. Next, permalinks. Permalinks are important. Uh, we're going to take a look at the setup for permalinks. A permalink is the way that a link is structured. So by default, it'll be like question mark one, right? Like this, question mark one, two, three. What we want to do is we want to do um, just the post name. Boom, like this, okay? Just click that, scroll down, hit save, okay? Now, we are more or less set with the structure of our site. So let, let's see what we did so far, okay? So, so far, we got our site, we changed the uh, slogan line and we changed our main page. So what it used to look like is this, posts, recent posts, blah, 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 powered by WordPress, okay? So let's see what we did. We'll reload. I like this and I think maybe the internet's being nice to us because it's uh, it's going slow which means I got to teach this stuff a little better right so there we go we got sample page as our home page notice affiliateprofitgroup.com now shows the sample page not the posts it also has our tagline up here which is cool and you know if there was comments and stuff there would be the little monsters okay pretty cool so that's what we did so far. Pretty easy. We are only 54 minutes into this webinar. 53 minutes was me jawboning. For the other one minute, you probably actually did work on your site and you know, we got stuff done. So it's pretty cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our, um, our main page again, our WordPress dashboard. Okay, and we're gonna go to appearance themes. Okay, a theme, what is a theme? 
a theme is the way your site looks. So right now, we got this little cactus looking thing. All right, so if I wanted to change it and say, well, I want this, this one. Activate and doo -doo -doo. this is why WordPress is cool. Okay, um, if yours says hello world, you did not do the step correctly of changing your front page to a static page, okay? So if your home page says hello world, you need to go back into settings and you need to go into, um, I think it was reading, okay? And that would be the setting there, okay? That's, that's what does that. Okay, now if you have this set as like a post page, that's gonna do the hello world also. We wanna keep this. All right, Gandhi says, which theme should we go with that converts well? Well, you should go with a Marcus special theme. And I think the armadillo is back under the office. I hear him thumping around. We have a resident armadillo. Uh, he wants to learn to make money. Uh, he's got his shell on and he's ready to go and he hangs out under the office digging holes. So if I ever fall down an armadillo hole in the middle of my webinar, um, you'll know, right? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I, I have my office built in the backyard, so it's kind of cool, you know, it's cool. All right, so back to themes, okay? With Simple Sites, Big Profits, Blog Profit Network, and many of my products, we give you guys some themes, we give you guys some plugins, we give you guys lots of cool stuff, okay? Um, some of the themes there, if we wanted to make our own theme, what we're going to do, and we always, always, this is something I forgot to tell you, you always want to click this, okay? Always want to click this, because if you don't, your site's going to have like a coming soon thing. You don't want that, so we'll click this, okay? There we go. Awesome. And it should say this, okay? Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go for themes. We're going to click on add new theme, or we can click on upload we want to save time upload okay now I have the themes on my desktop I teach you how to get them on your desktop but you got to have one of my products to get the themes we paid a lot of money to make the themes and the plugins for you so it's only fair that you kick us a little bit down and say Marcus I love your training I want all your free stuff that comes with your program anyway so it's cool all right so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on upload theme choose file and I'm gonna choose a file from my desktop under I think I made them live plug Okay, so now we have several different themes. Let's say you wanna make a squeeze page or opt-in page. All right, we'd use something like the Easy Opt install. And let's hope they work. All right, sometimes I get in trouble trying to do this stuff live. But if we're gonna make an opt-in page, we can use the Easy Opt-in theme. Okay, we hit install, we wait, and we hit live preview if you wanna check it out before you actually do it. I don't know why I always just do it anyway, but um, right there. So this is what it looks like, right? Does everyone see that theme? Okay, it's a theme we created to make it easy for you to make this stuff work. Okay, cool. If you like it, you could hit save and activate, right like this, and it'll actually change your site. Is it saved? Right, so there we go, affiliateprofitgroup.com. And if you guys want to see this stuff happen in real time, you can actually go to affiliateprofitgroup.com and, and see that we are actually doing this stuff live. But that's what it looks like now, okay? Pretty cool. All right, so now why is this an opt-in page? Well, one, because um, now how do we create the theme? We actually make these themes ourselves. We have them designed um, and we use programs and stuff like that. We actually teach you how to make your own themes uh, in the Simple Sites course. If you want the Simple Sites course, go to simplesitesbonus.com. Um, you can get the course. It's going to teach you all this stuff. It's really good stuff. Okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like. Now, you can see here, this is our example page. Um, we got uh, up across the top, you have your pages here. So that's how it would look, okay? Um, like Robert says, this theme would get results. Yes, these themes are based on me testing over 100 million visitors to my sites and seeing what works. Now there's other ones we have as well. Uh, if we wanna go back to our themes and do theme like this, we wait. And let's say like we wanted to make a sales page, okay? If we wanted to make a sales page, we could go to upload right, like this. 
and we go to where is it? Upload theme. Okay. And we wait. Oh, can we don't wait? We click the button. What are you doing, Marcus? All right. Uh, we could use something like the sales page. Let's say we want the sale green, which is like a sales page, but it's green, right? It's pretty fancy. I, I named it that way. I came up with that on my own for the green page. We named it green. Pretty cool. Um, and what it'll do is it'll make you a little sales page if you're trying to sell something and you want like a one page site uh, or if you want to hide other pages, right? We, we did a lot of work to make these things cool for you. Okay, and some of them we give away free on our sites. Um, if you want to get the ones that we give away, um, go to affiliatemarketingdude.com and uh, you can get our toolbar that, you know, gives you some stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, so there's the green uh, sales page one. Okay, uh, that makes it look green and salesy. It looks similar, but it acts a little bit different. Okay. We'll wait for that while we wait. Get another fancy lime water. So there we go. Right? Very cool. Now, these are set up for a very, very important purpose. There was a lot of thought into them. Um, we focused on getting you results. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look. So let's go back to our list. We got our domain, we got our hosting, blah, 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 got our hosting logins. We went into our cPanel, we put our WordPress on. We showed you how to use the WordPress dashboard. We showed you how to structure your site so that your hello world isn't the post, right? We don't want that. Uh, homepage, we wanna make it a page. This is the difference between pages and posts, very important, okay? Then we uh, selected a theme, okay? There's tons of themes in our products. Um, if you want to get started, you could either go to simplesitesbonus.com, excuse me, um, or you can go to uh, blogprofitnetwork.com slash go. Uh, either one, Blog Profit Network is cheaper, but it comes with less support. If you wanna get serious about affiliate marketing, go to simplesitesbonus.com and say, Marcus, I'm serious, I wanna make this work. Okay, um, so we're adding the plugins and tools. Now what we're gonna do, we have our theme, we're gonna add plugins, okay? So we went through adding themes, we just click on appearance and themes. Next, what we're going to do is, we're, uh, first I'm gonna show you the widget section, okay? The widgets is the sidebar stuff, right? So like when you see a blog, like blogprofitnetwork.com, okay? Um, you're gonna notice the structure that I'm talking about, right? Pages across the top, Right, we have the pages here with our opt-in, oh, not that page, uh, pages here, um, which have our opt-in box. Okay, that's the structure. Okay, now our posts are hidden behind the pages. All right, I, I make them hidden so that people have to opt in to get them, which is kind of cool, right? So um, they can actually get to um, other pages or other posts in different ways, but that's the main structure. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna show you how that works. Now this sidebar stuff, this is called a widget. Okay, this is our content, this is our widget, this is our menu, this is our header, and down here is our footer. Okay, everyone with me? Type with me if you're with me. Okay, I'll go through it again slower. Header is at the top. Menu is these links here. Our content or our page is here. Okay. Our widgets are here, right? Here's our widgets right there. That's a widget, okay? <laughs> widgets are all this stuff here. Our post is, I don't think I can, it's that, that, over that way. There's our post right right there. Pretty cool, okay? <laughs> Hope you liked my little, whatever the heck you wanna call that. Okay, so those are our widgets, that's our content, okay? Everyone with me? All right, so that's the basic idea. Um, once we go back to our dashboard, we can go in and we can go to plugins, add new. Okay, if we wanna add a new plugin, we can go here. Now the WordPress, like WordPress thing, has a bunch of plugins you can get. Lots of free ones, some are good, some are terrible, some are wonderful, some totally suck and will ruin your blog. With that said, what we're going to do is we're gonna upload our own plugins. These are plugins that you get as part of my, um, my products like simplesitesbonus.com or blogprofitnetwork or whichever one you get. Okay, so we're gonna choose file. 
First of all, what we're gonna do is squeeze Blogs Pro. This is the ultimate widget controller. It used to be called widget control, right? But uh, we called it squeeze blogs because it makes more sense to make a squeeze blog than control widgets. All right, so we'll hit activate here. So we install, activate, and they're always in zip folders. You download them to your desktop or whatever, and then you just upload them like this. Once you're done installing the plugins, my plugins, some of them do this, some of them don't, but my, all of mine will add a little button down here. Okay, does everyone see the button? Type button if you see the button. Okay, and then once you see the button, we click it, and this will be the instructions for your Squeeze Blogs Pro thing. Now, this is the brand new version, which is why the ads are dumb looking and why it doesn't have a welcome video, but the versions that you guys get have welcome videos and everything like that. Okay, so now you'll see Squeeze Blogs Pro tab with all these tabs here. Pretty cool. It's got affiliates, thank you pages, sales pages, recent posts, recent comments, AdSense, opt-in one, opt-in two, opt-in three, opt-in four. Pretty cool. What this does is it actually controls your blog. So if I say, well, you know, Marcus, I want to put an opt-in box so that I could build a mailing list and email people and make money, right? What you do is you go to opt-in one, you click on hide title. I always hide the title. You put show in pages or you can do home page or whatever, okay? You put what you want to give them. So I'm like, hey, dude, um, enter your name and email for some cool affiliate stuff. Boom, right? You can center it. You can make it bold. You can make it big. You can make it, you can do this thing. You can make it red, right? Uh, if I wanted to put some arrows, all I do is center, and then I could go in and be like, okay, add some media, select a file, just like uploading a, a thing to Facebook or something, right? Very, very simple. Um, don't overcomplicate it, and don't be afraid of ruining anything. Um, that's why we do the hub site, right? Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to go here. Um, world technology, world peace technology. Uh, please wait. Uh, we will explain that towards the end. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we can put an image. So usually, like, I like to use arrows. So we could use, like, this start here, or we could use, uh, let's see. Uh, it should work. Where does that start here? Yeah, we'll just use the start here. All right, simple. So start here. Uh, let's center it. Okay, very simple. You just go through insert boom there it is right so now the start here is going to point at my opt-in box okay then what i do is i put my aweber list name okay we have instructions on how to get an aweber account um you just go to aweber and get an account right <laughs> pretty simple uh, once you get an account you'll create a username or a list name you're going to put your limp list name here not your limp name the list name okay now we're going to put uh, simple marcus or something like that Next, you put your thank you URL, right? If you want to put them to an affiliate offer, you can put the affiliate offer here. Or if you want to create a thank you post, okay? Very important that I said thank you post. All you would do is open this in a new tab and uh, you could just use your hello world post. We'll just use this, okay? Copy link address and you can change it later. We can always change things. Um, I'm just utilizing it so that you guys understand. Okay, so that would be our thank you page, which which means after they put their name and email, this is where they're going to go. Make sense? Okay, type in got it if you got it or what the heck if you don't got it. <laughs> okay, and we can change this later. It's fine. It's good. Not a worry. Okay, and Squeeze Blogs Bro makes all this very easy right otherwise you'd have to go and get a code you'd have to paste the code you'd have to make a widget you'd have to do this you'd have to do that it'd be a pain in the butt okay so there we go we got our um thing here next you put your bullet points okay so what are we going to give them free affiliate program uh killer tools for profit and my free toolbar okay very simple if you were doing this in the weight loss niche, you'd be like, enter your name and email to learn to lose 10 pounds in 100 years. 
put your start here or put a picture of a thin person or whatever you want. Next, you put your list name from Aweber. Next, you put your thank you URL, which is just our only post. Okay. Then you put your bullet points. You'd be like free weight loss guide, free exercise guide, and 10 foods that are probably making you fat. Simple. All right. Privacy policy. If you leave this blank, it'll use a default. Okay. Then you can choose what you want it to look like. If you want it white, it'll blend in with your site. If you want a download now button, you can play around with these and make it look. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and hit update. Now, if you hit update and you go to your site and there is not an opt-in box on your site, that is either two reasons. Reason one, you need to go into appearance, widgets, and then you need to drag all of these widgets out. Boom. I'm just dragging, holding, release. Drag, hold, release. Drag, hold, release. Drag, hold, release. Drag, hold, release. Next, we want Squeeze Blogs Pro. This should be the only one in your widget area because this is going to control your widget. So boom, there we go. Save. Now, if you do this, and it doesn't show up. It should show up the little opt-in box. If it doesn't, that means your theme is not allowing it. So remember how I said this is a sales page theme? It doesn't have a spot for a widget. However, our other one, which is the opt-in man, which makes sense, right? This easy opt does allow it. See how it's got the sidebar and this one doesn't? Okay, that's going to allow it. So now, now, right, we're going to go here, visit site, and boom, there we go. Oh, let's see, not boom yet. We got to do home page or something like that. Let's see. Okay, Squeeze Blogs Pro. And we're going to do uh, home page. Okay, update. And the cool thing about Squeeze Blogs Pro is it allows you to put whatever you want, wherever you want. So I could have like four different opt ins on four different pages. Or I can have an opt-in on one page and a AdSense on another or whatever. It's very cool. It allows you to do all kinds of things. So we're going to go here. And now it should update. Hopefully. Okay. For some reason, it's not updating. It might be my theme. But again, remember, this stuff is very difficult to do live. Um, not only difficult to do live, but... Okay, let's see. Try one more thing. And then if not, it might be my theme. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, that should do it. Let's see. I might have the wrong one still. Is this the sales or easy opt? Okay, let's see if it's a theme issue. It might be. I haven't used this easy opt uh, in a while. Now, the ones in your members area are newer. I just didn't have time to find them before this thing. Um, so let's see what's going on. All right, you know what? Let's use this. We wait and we wait and we wait. Okay, is this making sense to everyone? Okay, I must be doing something wrong here. Let's see here. Settings. Widgets. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm... Tommy want wingy. I'm an idiot. You gotta actually have this here and you gotta hit save. There we go. And there we go. All right, yes. That's how it works. Okay. It didn't work because I have no brain. Um, so if you have a half a brain, you'll be able to do twice as good as me. All right, so that's the reason. I just had to add the Squeeze Blogs Pro. For some reason, it wasn't adding. Um, now we can go in and go to themes and we should be able to add our other one. And I'm watching, like, I see myself in the replay. And I see myself delayed, like you guys see, and the faces I'm making are pretty funny. So if you guys are like cracking up, type cracking up in the box, because um, that, that was pretty funny. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to choose the easy opt, right, like this. And we'll go here. And it should work. Yeah, okay. I wonder if it's 
a uh, it might be a caching thing. Let's see. Let's try this one. All right. So we'll just use this one for now. Um, now, in another call, if you guys want to go through the program that I make to make custom themes, we might be able to do a call on that. Um, it's a little bit difficult to do, but we might be able to do that. Um, if you guys want that, type it in. Uh, okay, there is that training in Simple Sites Big Profits. Okay, so there we go. We got the 2016, we got the opt-in um, on the sidebar. Now, again, with Widget Control or uh, Squeeze Blogs Pro, used to be called Widget Control. With Squeeze Blogs Pro, you can actually uh, customize the way it looks. So, like, if you want it to blend in, you can use white. Uh, if your background's white, it'll, it'll do that. You can actually customize it, too, if you want, and hit Update. And what that'll do is it'll change the way it looks. Ever so slowly, but it will actually do it. Okay. Cool stuff. All right, so see how that works? All right, you can make it pretty cool, easy to use. Uh, the reason there's two is because I have it set on uh, home pages and pages. If I just use pages, it'll get rid of that second one. Okay, cool. So uh, let's go back to our outline. Let's see how we're doing. One, choose a generic domain name. Got that. Get the hosting. Got that. Logins. Log into hosting. Install WordPress. WordPress dashboard we went through. Structuring your site. Selecting a theme. Okay. Um, in the toolbar, you got the themes. Uh, adding plugins and tools. There's a couple other plugins that we use. Um, let's go to plugins and I'll show you what those are. Uh, one of them is for affiliate ads. Okay. And we'll do, uh, let's see, upload plugin. We're going to use Smart Affiliate Ads. I think I have it on my desktop. And Smart Affiliate Ads here. What this does is it allows you to create affiliate ads. Like you'll notice on um, my sites, like if you were to go to, let's see, um, my sobriety site, um, you will see like these ads here. Hi there. See how wonderful those look? those uh, you could create and it does different sizes and everything um, we also have like smaller ones let's see up oh, wrong one let's see here like smaller versions that go here um, so it's pretty cool it's a good plugin to use um, and it's really easy right once we activate it all we have to do is go to the plugin see how it pops up down here smart affiliate ads pro um, I could go through and I could be like, okay, um, add a group, right? This is why we do the, the hub site because you could actually create all your ads on the hub site, run them on all your sites and just get details here, right? It'll be like your own custom link tracker thingy, which is cool, right? It's awesome stuff. So we'll go here. We'll be like, uh, you know, let's say I was going to do this for my weight loss site. Okay, um, then you say what kind you want. So like if I want just text, text banner, text skyscraper for images, video ads, right? Video ads obviously is like these, they're video ads. Um, so pretty cool. And any image works, it'll shrink it and make it big and everything. Uh, random, do you want them random? Yes. Um, and we'll hit submit. Okay, now these homepage pages posts are only if you're utilizing the widgets. Okay, we're not going to do that yet. We can do that later. Um, and I'll show you how that works as well. So then all you got to do if you want to add an ad, you go here, you say, what's this ad called? This is called uh, elephant or whatever, right? Uh, what do we want? Template. We want, uh, or wait, no, we're adding a new group. Sorry. We're going to go here. Ah. See, I really do only have half a brain. I, I try to convince people, but, you know, they don't believe me. They think I'm really smart. I got them all fooled. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to this one. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to click this thing. Okay, this is Manage Ads. It'll go here, and it'll go to Blank Ads. Now we can create our ad. Okay, so title, uh, whatever our title is, click here for cool stuff. Okay. If I put an affiliate link here, this plugin actually cloaks it for you. It's really nice of this plugin. Uh, this plugin cost me way too much 
more than I'd wish to admit, um, but it works, right? So if we were to do uh, like a ClickBank affiliate or whatever, okay, I'll show you a basic affiliate link kind of thing. Um, let's see if I can do this. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to do this real quick. Okay. You guys should be looking at the blackboard. If you guys see the blackboard, let me know. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Should be working. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab my uh, affiliate link here. And I don't know why I didn't do like double screens in the past, but I absolutely love having two screens now. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an ad wherever we are, okay? I'm gonna put my affiliate link here. Let's get rid of these extras, okay? Um, hide URL, yes. That means it's not gonna show the URL. Uh, click here for cool stuff. Get really cool stuff here. Okay, upload an image, any image. You could just pick one from your site or from your um, from your computer. Okay, so we'll do, uh, let's see, pictures. We'll get this beach. Okay, and it'll automatically shrink it and everything for you. All right. Uh, can we use pretty link to cloak? No, use my links. Uh, use the, the programs that we give you um, because you don't want to have like a bazillion logins. This stuff's, you know, you want to make it as easy as possible. Okay, insert into post and boom, now we have an ad, okay? Now, if I was to go through and I wanted to put this ad in the sidebar, all I would do is go here, back to manage groups, okay? Um, and I can put it wherever I want. Okay. Yep. Let's see. I think that's it. Yeah. So we'll just do homepage. Yes. Save. And then same thing like with our widget control appearance. Widgets. All right, Tom. Yeah. Go ahead and get your hosting. Okay. We're going to go through and we're going to do um, smart affiliate ads. Put that there if you want it on top or below. Either way, save. And it should put the little ad there that we made with the beach and the really cool stuff. Okay? Everyone see how that works? Yeah, it only allows you to do 12 months at a time, which is in the beginning what we said with the 107. Okay? Cool stuff. All right, so there you go. That's how you do the ads. Now, let's take a look at what we did so far, and then we'll take a break, and we'll let you guys play around with this, okay? Um, the next plugin is Affiliate Tracker, which does similar stuff. But what I want you to do is I want you to see if you could get as far as I got. Does everyone think that they could get as far as I got? They could get the hosting. Uh, they could put some kind of theme on it, whether it's, you know, the default theme or whatever. They, they could get this far. How many of you guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being, dude, I can do this, or I already did it, and 1 being... I don't know. Is this a computer? Where am I? Right? Um, put, put that in the box. Let me know where you're at. Um, and we should be able to help you here. But it should be pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. Uh, if you're worried about it, don't be that worried. Like David, he's done it. Now, David, before you started, did you ever think you could do this stuff? Right? I, I know he was one that had some trouble with, uh, with this stuff in the beginning. He was scared about things. And I know that we've had like people that are older that have actually done things like we had like an 86 year old lady who came and she's like I don't know how to do this and she got the coast and she she did it all right Dave go back through the replay just go through it and do it um, and make it work but a lot of people who think this stuff's hard it's not really that hard you just got to do it um, and a lot of things you can actually go through so awesome congratulations to those of you who say 10 now if you like this stuff um, that's where you want to go. You want to do that. Uh, let me see where my um, thing is here. Do, do, do. I know I had like this certain thing that I wanted to display that was really cool. Let's see. Where'd it go? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, so here is where you get your hub site. This is a little graphic I made. I hope you like it. Um, this is where you get your hub site. Uh, I'll leave this up and we'll, ask, we'll answer some questions for the next seven minutes or so. Um, so if you do have questions, type them in the box now. Okay. Um, if you need to do this slower, YouTube has a feature where you could actually do this really slow. Um, you could actually slow down and I'll be like, website. at any rate, I hope you like that. Um, so cool. Okay, the traffic series webinars will be starting on Monday. Um, this was kind of like our beginner so that you guys are, are in, the, in the spot to be able to get traffic. Um, we're starting Monday now. We will also be allowing you guys to sign up for the traffic webinar uh, one last time tonight. It is a 16 webinar series all about how to get traffic. So if you like this webinar, those 16 webinars are going to be all about traffic. It's going to go through slow. Um, we're going to do even slower than this because there's a lot less to cover in each one. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, Tom, you should be able to do 12 months. It's pretty easy unless you click the wrong um, pack. What you want to do is you want to go to gohubsite.com, okay? And you can start over if you need to. Just start over, go to gohubsite.com. You could do hosting, shared hosting, okay? Right like this. Make sure you get shared. Make sure you do the prime, okay? Get your domain name, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it'd be funny if that domain was taken, but I don't think it is. Okay, once you're done, you go here and you could choose 12 months right like this. Okay, you cannot do monthly. It only does 12 months at a time. Uh, it ends up being about 107, but you're getting 200 bucks in free coupons uh, for traffic and you're getting a free domain name. Um, so pretty cool. Okay, awesome stuff. All right, so that's how you do that. You can go to gohubsite.com right now. You can actually do that after this call. Uh, make sure you use gohubsite.com. That is our affiliate link. We are compensated, but as our way of saying thank you, we actually provide these cool trainings for you to show you how to do all this stuff, which is pretty cool. All right, so uh, the Blog Profit Network webinar series. Uh, those, I don't know if we had those scheduled. All right, Gandhi, uh, stick around. Wait for the uh, special offer on the traffic ones. Um, you're going to want to check that out in four minutes. Give me four more minutes, and uh, we'll get you guys that link as well. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to take some questions. So if you guys have questions, let me know. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like this webinar so far? 10 being, dude, this is awesome. Do this every day and i'll give you a bunch of money and you know one being like i don't know you hate it but i think all the people who hated this are probably signed off already <laughs> okay um cool so gohubsite.com are these wordpress themes included with high ticket niches uh we actually make you a custom one so the one you get with your high ticket niches you can have these ones as well um but we actually make you a full-on custom one with your own logo and everything like that Okay. All right, 9.75. Excellent. I'll work on my high dive. Sounded like a high dive score. Uh, but most, most people are, are doing pretty good. Okay, so we'll leave that open. Uh, see you Monday for traffic. Yes, Will is in our traffic class. Everyone's going to want to be in the traffic class. Um, I will put that up in just a minute. I think that's on our other screen. Let me see here. Um, it is under that and then yes this one and i think let's see media source order send it back stick around ping pong we got uh, something else coming up for you Uh, the plugin series, those are already in there, so you should be, you should have those already. All right, let me see if this thing worked. There we go. So there is our traffic thingy, and I don't know why it's not showing up. That's, that's weird. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So we'll put that to the top. Now, if you want to get in on our traffic webinars, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to teach you some basics about web stuff, um, but we're also going to teach you how to get traffic. Now, the traffic webinars, we have 16 different webinars for you. We're going to teach you how to get free traffic. We're going to teach you how to get paid traffic. We're going to teach you how to get uh, traffic on YouTube, traffic on Google, traffic on everywhere. Traffic is the most important part um, to make this work for you, okay? Traffic is the key. If you don't get traffic to your website, you're just gonna be dead in the water with a website that gets no traffic. So you wanna make sure you get traffic. There's actually 16 webinars on different traffic tactics. We have uh, webinars on um, SEO. That's how to get ranked in uh, Google and get free traffic. We have article marketing webinar. We have um, pay-per-click. We have all kinds of different traffic. We got uh, YouTube traffic, which is an awesome way to get traffic. Um, uh, Gandhi, get an affiliate link and get them to join. It's cool stuff. Uh, my goal is to get like a thousand people on every call that I do. So if you guys want to help out and use your affiliate links, you can do that and we'll compensate you. Um, you're going to get uh, traffic on YouTube, get traffic on free traffic. You're going to use article marketing. We're going to teach you pay-per-click. We're going to teach you banners. We're going to teach you all kinds of stuff. So if you want to get traffic and if you like this webinar and you want other webinars just like this, where we're going to go through and they're going to be private, uh, you're going to want to get on that. Uh, Awis, did I say that right? I'm sorry if I didn't. Awis says, is this covered in Simple Sites? No, this is a brand new traffic course. Uh, that we're going through live. It's uh, 197 bucks for 16 webinars. That's like less than 20 bucks each, uh, 12 bucks or something like that, which means I'm getting paid like dirt cheap nothing. Um, so I'm hoping a lot of people sign up to make it worth the while. And it's going to be worth it for you because obviously if I could show you how to get $197 worth of free traffic, which I already did because you got 200 bucks, right? Um, it's going to be cool. But uh, we're going to show you how to get a lot of traffic. Uh, we're going to show you how to make this work. What I'll do is I'll see if I have uh, the traffic sign up page here. Um, it's under freetrafficskills.com and uh, I'll outline that for you. So go ahead and go to freetrafficskills.com right now. And I'll go there with you and uh, we'll go through the rundown of, of what you're getting. Okay, there we go. So you're getting 16 webinars. I'm going to try to read this in eye blistering font from over here. Oh, that's actually easier over here. Say, so, number one, the first webinar, if I was to charge for just that webinar, it'd be 47 bucks. Uh, understanding organic free traffic, how to get lots of free traffic. Number two, how to get cheap paid traffic without pissing Google off. Number three, we're gonna teach you six easy social media traffic tactics. One of these tactics I used to make over $600 in a matter of minutes. Another one I used to make $2,000 in less than three minutes. Boom, right like that. I think it was actually $1,200, uh, not 2,000, just to be totally clear with you. Uh, number four is 1277. See, my memory is pretty good. Um, number four, how to get killer video traffic using YouTube. Number five, how to get affiliates to send you lots of traffic for free. Number six, an easy way to borrow traffic from your competitors. This is the borrowing method. Put a B here for borrowing, just so I have a point to be in front of the whiteboard. Um, how to borrow traffic, everything like that. Now you'll notice also um, on uh, freetrafficskills.com, on freetrafficskills.com, right, that's it. Yes, you got 11 minutes. After 11 minutes, as you can see, the price is gonna go to 297. So you have 11 minutes, all right, uh, to get signed up. We're gonna show you how to get uh, super cheap. The borrowing traffic is a really good one um, because you can get traffic instantly with that. Next, super cheap Facebook traffic tips and some free ones. Number eight, deliberate viral traffic campaigns. Number nine, we're gonna show you an easy way to tap into mobile traffic. <clears throat> Number 10, easy banner ad traffic. Yes, banner ads still work. They're cheap. They're easy. So if you want to get in on this, go to freetrafficskills.com up there. See, freetrafficskills.com. Uh, killer class. Um, awesome stuff. Okay, um, how to do article marketing the right way. If you've ever written articles and gotten no traffic, we're going to teach you how to do it and get traffic. Um, number 13, media buying secrets. Number 12, uh, content network traffic. Number 14, going direct for super low risk traffic. Number 15, creating press releases, how I got 
hundreds of thousands of visitors on one press release, actually 600,000 visitors with one press release. Really cool stuff. Uh, and it cost me like 200 bucks. Number 14, going direct for super low risk traffic. Number 15, creating press releases for EV traffic. I'm repeating myself because I can't see the links. Uh, tap into the non-competitive download traffic vault. So if you want those 16 webinars and you want me to teach you all this stuff step by step in a really easy way, go to freetrafficskills.com. This is the last chance. After this call, we are raising the price to where it should be, and it's still a good value. So you want to get in there now. Um, it's freetrafficskills.com. Now, after you've set up your blog like today, you can watch this replay as soon as this webinar is over. Um, you can click the refresh button and I think it'll just boom, it'll play it just like it's live again. And if it's in low quality, just use the little dial and you can do HD quality. Uh, we do these in 1080p, I think, something like that. Um, so it'll be nice and clear for you. Uh, also, yes, $12 a webinar. So how many of you guys think that this webinar was worth more than $12, right? Is there any agreement there? Right, and you could, if you think it was worth a hundred, put a hundred. If you think it was worth a thousand, put a thousand. If you think it's worth four cents, put four cents. Right? <laughs> Hopefully, you think it's more than that. All right, cool. So get signed up. David signed up, and David built a blog. So let's all give David a hand, and let's give uh, Gandhi a hand. He set his blog up. Um, everyone's ready to go. So if you think this webinar was worth more than twelve dollars and thirty-one cents, go. Now, uh, if I was to charge 47 bucks for all those webinars, it would be like $900 and it'd still be a good deal because if you think about what this has made me, this skill, right? You're learning a skill just like today. You learned a skill. It wasn't hogwash. It wasn't thought. It wasn't ideas. It was actually something you can use. Like now, now, congratulations, you could set up blogs for people. Pretty cool, right? I mean... You could probably sell blogs. Once you learn my theme stuff, you could probably sell themes. Now you have a valuable skill, right? That's the goal here. We are working on imparting to you a valuable skill. Now, in the traffic series, you're going to get 16 skills, right? So 16 skills, 16, right? And you got uh, seven minutes. You're going to get 16 skills that you can use to get traffic whenever you want. You could drive them to affiliate offers. Um, you can make money all kinds of stuff. Guys, this stuff works. I hope that you know by now um, that this stuff works. You know how it works. You know how the traffic works. You know how the affiliate links work. And we're going to show you in more detail how everything works. And you got to sign up now because I got to go cook something for dinner and I don't know what I'm going to cook. But we'll try to get it going for you. Let's see if we could turn this around. I think we can. That way we can keep that little link up there. Sorry for the earthquake. Let's see. There we go. You guys can see my setup here, right? This is how we how we do this. We've got uh, this one, which has my screen, right? I got this one here, which shows what's up next. This button switches back and forth. And here I got the screen that you guys see. Pretty cool. And then there's my backyard you can see over there. All right, our little deck, I made a, a deck out there, which is kind of cool. And then our big screen, where I can see your guys' comments. And then, as you can see, I drink lots and lots of water. And uh, there's the camera that picks me up. Okay, there's one of our wireless mics. The one I'm using now is a, a different one, which is kind of cool. There's our green screen, right? That's how we make this cool stuff happen. Pretty cool. So, yeah. All right, so, any questions? Okay, um, Tom, just uh, get them on live chat. You can help them out, or they'll, they'll help you out. You don't need to help them out, right? See, with the green, we can kind of make it like that. And then if I wanted, I could just get rid of that green screen there. But uh, five minutes. If you're signed up, type it in the box. Let me know. Um, you guys definitely want to sign up for this. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Uh, yes, all the sessions will be rebroadcast. They will not be live like this on YouTube. Uh, we use a private webinar service um, for our private webinars. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You know, So uh, if you don't join at uh, freetrafficskills.com, then you're not going to be able to get this stuff. All right, so any questions? Um, again, everyone who's on this call, if you guys 
like this webinar, you definitely want to sign up um, for those. Uh, and it'll be your last chance. How much time do we have? The timer went away. Let's see. All right, where'd our timer go? Was that? There it is. Okay, so four minutes left. Uh, what time on Monday? Yes, we'll probably do like 11 in the morning Eastern time. We might do later, not sure yet. Okay, uh, Gandhi, get signed up for the traffic class and then you're free to go to bed. All right, he says it's like 4 a.m. where he's at, which is cool. All right, cool. So we'll wait for the ticker to go down four minutes and uh, take it from there. I think I could probably, let me see if I can change this thing. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, that's how we drop the background. I think you guys see that. Pretty cool. All right, so last minute questions. Again, that's freetrafficskills.com up there. Make sure you sign up right there. Free, let's see, freetrafficskills.com. Pretty cool stuff. We'll move that down a little. Zoop, right like that. Cool. And I just became huge, I think. All right, did I? I'm big. I can make myself small. This program's pretty cool, and it was free. They're pretty cool. Free programs are good. And we show you how to get lots of free programs, too. There we go. See, I can make myself small. I could put myself in the timer. Whatever works. All right, so any questions, let me know, and uh, we'll get you guys going from there. But uh, don't miss out on the traffic webinars. You're definitely going to like those. What is the cost for purchasing the lessons for the year? Um, Yes, if you want to get the all access pass, which means you get everything I come out with um, for the year, right? So from March to March, you'll get everything I come out with. Um, you can go to, um, you actually get us on live chat and I'll give you that link um, and I'll get that for you. But I don't have the link handy. It's kind of a private deal, uh, but it's 1997, I think. So 2000 bucks for everything for the whole year. Um, and see, they're, they're calling me for dinner now, so I better get in there. So, yeah. All right, any questions? Looks like we're good to go. Go sign up. You got two minutes left, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Okay, so get signed up. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, Lewis, if you want to get in the um, all access thing, just get me on live chat and I'll get you that link right now. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, cool. So one minute and 20 seconds and that price is going up. Last time um, we had it it went up for a little while, but we put it back down because people were asking for it. Uh, this time it is really going back up. And go to... All right. Cool. So I think we're good to go. All right, guys, so 59 seconds to go. Uh, if you like this and you want to get my course that teaches everything affiliate marketing, um, go ahead and go to simplesitesbonus.com. If you want to learn traffic, go sign up for the traffic course. It's a really cool course. Looks like we've got a couple people signing up for it right now. Um, so cool stuff. All right, 30 seconds to go. Uh, if you have to do the 77 plan, that's cool. We don't, either way, whatever works for you. Um, there's a payment plan to make it easier, and there will be one for the 297 as well. Uh, we like to make it as easy as possible. Man, this camera is pretty clear, isn't it? Let's see how clear it is when it goes big. There we go. I'm huge. Very cool. Go sign up. Otherwise, you're going to have to look at me for the rest of the eight seconds. All right, <laughs> cool. 
All right, so thanks again for watching. Enjoy the trailer again, and I'll see you on Monday. For those of you who are signing up, go sign up now. I'm going to change the price in just a few seconds. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do